Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Channel, channel. This video tutorial guys ay para sa mga online seller dyan na hindi pa nakapag-register sa DTI. Last day na po kasi today, July 30. This is online registration and online payment through Gcash. Kaya kung may Gcash po kayo, napakadali lang po. Makukuha po natin kaagad ang Certificate of Business Name Registration including your official receipt. Dahil ito-download lang po natin. Ayan guys, kung bago ka pa lang sa aking channel, click the subscribe button below and bell para ma-update kayo sa next video ko. Ayan guys, start na po tayo. So, ang gagawin lang natin ay punta tayo sa Chrome. Punta tayo sa Google. Search natin doon, Business Name Registration. Ayan. So, i-click natin tong Business Name Registration. Po, click natin guys. Ito na po yung lumabas. Ayan, scroll down lang tayo guys. I agree. Click natin. Ayan, so basa lang tayo. Are you a stateless person? No. Refugee? No. Citiz citizenship natin guys. Philippines, Filipino. First name. Middle name. Last name. Ayan, mag-fill in lang po tayo dyan. Of course, our birth date guys. Type lang natin. After, click natin ang civil status natin at gender at next tayo. Click lang natin yung next. Ayan, so ito na po yung lumabas. So, i-check mo lang kung may mali sa information nyo. Tapos, proceed tayo. Ayan. So, ito na po yung lumabas guys. May ano po tayo, regional ba yung pipiliin mo, city, municipality. Akin po kasi, City Municipality lang ka para 500 lang yung babayaran ko. Ayan. Scroll down tayo guys. Hanap kayo ng region nyo kung saan ba kayong region na belong. Tapos City Municipality Province kung saan province kayo. Akin is nasa Misamis Occidental. Ayan. Hanap lang kayo guys. Andyan yan lahat. Misamis Occidental. So, yung ilalagay natin sa dominant name, guys, is yung name name natin talaga. Yung full name. Ayan. After, hanap tayo kung ano ba, um, ano ba talaga ang business natin. So, hanapin natin dito. Ayan. So, basa lang, basa, basa. In this case, hindi tayo magkaparehaw kasi iba-iba naman yung business natin. Sa akin guys, uh, ito yung pinili ko. I click wholesale and retail trade, repair of motor vehicles, motorcycle and personal household goods, wholesale trade, except of motor vehicles and motorcycles. Ayan. Click lang natin yan. Na, Naka-circle naman din. Ayan guys, so proceed tayo sa iba ba? Itong group and class loading contents. So, ayan, loading pa. So, after hindi na yun mag-load, click lang natin itong triangle na kabaliktad. Ayan. So, pili lang tayo ng group at class na fit sa business natin. Ayan, just read. Just read and read and read. Scroll down tayo. Wholesale of household goods on textiles, clothing, and footwear. Ayan. Click natin yan, guys. Ayan, guys. So, proceed naman tayo sa iba ba itong subclass. Ang 
namin ito. So, click lang natin basa-basa. Scroll down tayo. Wholesale of textiles, clothing, and footwear. Ayan. And then, descriptor natin. Textiles, wholesaling, clothing, wholesaling. So, click natin tong clothing, wholesaling. Ayan, after, choose descriptor and close. Click natin yan. So, ito na yung lumabas, guys. Oh, ito na yung lumabas, yung proposed business name natin. So, pili ka lang, pwede mong balik na rin. Or unahin yung name mo, tapos yung clothing, wholesaling. Ayan, validate. Ayan po, guys, validating na po siya. So, hintay lang natin. Ayan, guys, okay na siya. Ito yung validation result. Past lahat. Yung naka-green, guys. Ayan, ibig sabihin, past lahat. So, wala na pong problema. Scroll down tayo. Ayan. Okay, click natin tong next. So, ito na yung babayaran natin, guys. Documentary stamp, 30 pesos. Registration fee, 500 pesos. So, 530 yung total, guys. Click natin, Yes. Processing. Ayan, so may binigay sila na reference code. This will be used in all your transactions. So, click lang natin itong continue. Ayan, continue. Ayan, guys. So, may uh, fill in na naman tayo na address natin, guys. So, kung yung region at municipality province, ando na yun barangay na lang natin. Tapos, yung street address, i-leave blank mo na lang yung house and building number. Tapos, yung phone number natin. Type natin yung phone number natin. Mobile number, rather. And then, yung email address, if you have your Gmail. Kasi, dun, dun kasi i-email nila yung, ano, eh, yung code. Okay lang kung wala yung TIN. Hindi naman ini-encode yung TIN ko. Preferably, yung Gmail natin yung sa ano guys, ilagay sa email address. Ayan, copy of my business address details to my residence address. So, kung the same lang yung business address mo at residence address, copy mo lang. Ayan, scroll down tayo. Click natin to next. You will not able to change your details click confirm and proceed. So, click natin itong confirm and proceed. Confirm and proceed. So, ito na yung lumabas, guys. Scroll down tayo. Scroll down. Ayan. Proceed. So, payment na tayo. Ayan. So, depende sa payment na gagamitin mo, guys. Pay Gcash, Palawan Pay, Maya. A visa ba ito? Ayan. So, mas madali guys, if you have Gcash. Kasi Gcash to the Gcash. Gcash to Gcash lang ito eh. Ayan. Scroll up tayo. Click natin itong Gcash. And then, proceed payment. Click natin itong proceed payment. number ng Gcash po natin. May country code. Country code? May country code na po kasi yan guys. Plus 63. So, 9. Start and 951. And then, enter authentication code tayo. Yung authentication code natin is yung nas nasend nila sa number natin sa Gcash. Tapos yung tapos yung Gcash pin, ayan. Enter natin yung Gcash pin natin. Confirm and pay. So ayan yung babayaran natin 530. So confirm natin. Para ma-okay na. Ayan guys, so 
need ang verification code kasi may may ini-email sila na verification code sa Gmail natin. So, kailangan talaga yung Gmail. Ayan, punta muna tayo sa Gmail natin. So, ito yung verification code na ibinigay nila. Copy natin to. Tapos, balik tayo dito. Ayan, encode natin. Then, click natin. Proceed. Click proceed. Ayan, guys. Searching. Transaction summary. So, completed transaction status completed. So, bayad na tayo, guys. Ayan, okay na yun. Scroll down muna tayo. Ayan, guys. Kung gusto mo i-download ang uh, certificate, click mo, tang, click mo lang itong certificate. Or yung official receipt natin. Ito na yung official receipt natin. So, naka-download na yun ha. Next is, download naman natin yung undertaking natin. Yung mga information natin. Ayan, downloaded na po siya guys. Naka-check na siya sa kung natin. And guys, registered na tayo. So, ito na yung certificate of business name ko. Leslie Indrina Clothing Pulse. Ayan, nag-iba no. Pero sa Facebook page kasi iba. That is online shop. Ganito na lang. Ibahin ko na lang yun. Facebook page ko. Ayan guys, so if nakatulong ang video tutorial na ito sa iyo, don't forget to subscribe!